What's up guys, it is Kai the Player and we're back for another video. This is part two of the Let's Play. So in this part, we're gonna be taking on the next mission, Thesis Hunt. Now in this mission, you're going to be going to the, what I call the hardest mission of the first three missions of this game. So if you want, you can do one of the side missions, Snow and Lucia. If not, go straight for Thesis Hunt and take care of the dispatch missions and go from there now at this point in the game you still have other side missions that you could do if you aren't that strong enough or you're not that great at the game however that's why you got me for so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the mission and when you get to the mission you're basically trying to take back a thesis paper when I was a younger kid I thought this was like a thesis like a special form of like I don't know tree Anyways, upon upon starting the engagement, you're going to be greeted with six enemies, and it's going to, uh, let me make sure I get this right. So it's going to be two thieves, a white mage, a soldier, a archer, and another soldier. So two soldiers, two thieves, an archer, and a white mage. Now the white mage, is, I mean, the white mage isn't too much to worry about, but the soldier and thieves are going to be the ones that you're going to worry about in, in this mission. So make sure that you keep your white mage constantly healing you guys. So you're going to go ahead and dispatch the enemies. I mean, dispatch your team. You're going to go from there. So if you have any extra teammates on, then just go from there. <sighs> when I say this one is the hardest, you will likely lose a unit or two during this match as I did when I was playing even playing again you are going to lose someone while the thief won't do a lot of damage since they go faster and they tend to have a higher like dodge rate it's going to be really annoying when it comes to fighting so the one tactic that you could do that I didn't try to do in this video is simply to corner each enemy, take them out, and then if for some odd reason they give one of your friends a problem, you use the white mage as backup to heal because one tactic that you could do in this game is when you corner an enemy by all four of their sides, they can't move until they kill one of your units. So that's a tip for anyone who wants to be able to keep a unit in place anyways so that's one tactic and as far as your white mange your weaker units you want to keep them kind of in the back now what tends to happen is is that in this game the enemies will go after the weakest unit if they're within range so keep that in mind the white mange gonna be getting hit a lot so kind of fast forward some ways and Right now, I would say that this game doesn't truly shine until after this mission. It's because what you can do really open up. Like, when I say that you can ditch this team, you can ditch this team. So, what I'm going to tell you guys right now is, is that when you're playing this game, each character's initial stats are important. However, the most important stat important in this game is speed. So all the units that you have have crappy speed except for the the monk because bongas have terrible speed and the white man, the white monk my mistake has the best speed of the monk the bongas. So what you're going to want to do in my personal opinion is you're going to get rid of 3 out of the 6 units. Marchi and Montblanc count as units, but you can't get rid of them. So you're going to keep one unit I recommend you keep either the Banga if you're going to use that class. You will need at least one to complete all the missions in the game. So I recommend you keep the White Monk and get rid of the Soldier, get rid of the Archer, and get rid of the White Mage. Now the reason why I say that is is because if you're going to have a support class for Magic, then at least have a starting class that has better speed. So. That's going to be the first thing. The second thing you're going to end up doing is, is that you're going to go into a random battle and you're going to lose on purpose. Now I went over this in my 
how-to video to get like a very specific for assassin and if not you can go watch it right here i'll put it in the corner so you can go check that out but pretty much to summarize what you do go into a battle after you get rid of your units and you lose on purpose by just fleeing after you flee go to the pub and you start getting race one admissions now for each race there's going to be a specific class that you want to strive to have their default stats so various because of how this game is they have the highest speed in this game you want to recruit an assassin so these missions are five days in a row each time you go on one of these missions all you have to do is go four spaces save and keep restarting until you get an assassin for humans it's either thief or ninja ninjas are faster than thieves so you're gonna want to get a ninja recruit and then again you can change them to a different class and then for the muggles it's either the juggler or the thief though you want to go with the thief for various reasons and then there's a second ship if you do these missions to get up your negotiation if you get your negotiation all the way up to 30 you'll get a special weapon that allows you to steal the abilities of other people around you so this is as important because if you're going to play this game casually you don't have to worry about trying to get this weapon if you're going to play this game a little more core-ish then the stuff i'm telling you right now is really important because it's going to help you out in this game and it's going to make playing this game a breeze i can i can tell you right now if you do this this game is going to be like a breeze it's going to be fun it's not going to be a cakewalk completely but it will be a lot more casual and fun if you put in the work early on so you saw that we got mont blanc dead our white mange is killed and our team just just sucks we don't have enough money to go crazy at the shop so it's whatever so we're gonna go ahead and fast forward a little bit more and we got rid of some of the enemies now they have a white mage and they have a soldier and they have an archer you want to get rid of their archer because the archer is going to keep uh, going after the weaker person and in an early game like this they can be really annoying because they chip off the little bit of health and it's irritating so go ahead and try to go after them so like right now we got a decent setup the only enemies that really matter right now is our we got the red soldier and we got the archer don't let marchy die so the problem with these engagements is is that if marchy dies you're screwed you're gonna have to do the whole thing over so just don't don't even let that be a case scenario just don't ever entertain that idea ever Mont Blanc could die like he could die no one cares about him nobody cares about him like that he could die for all we care that's just what the game tells us so Marchi um, right now he's still a soldier so after this part we're going to go ahead and switch him out we're gonna make him a thief we're gonna make Mont Blanc a thief and the reason why you do this is because in between this part and the next part I'm going to be doing grinding so then that way I can get the weapon I can steal abilities and then after that you should never have your characters level up in a specific class I mean you should never have your characters in like a certain class because of abilities when they could just steal it and they're not stuck so if you really want to make your units really broken you're gonna want to have muggles humans and various the no moves are kind of terrible unless you really want to use magic and bongas are slow but they're power hitters so really if maybe you have a support muggle who has smile it could be really useful to have a bonga who's like broken if that's the case if not then i would urge against using a bonga when it comes to these battles so we're getting just to the near end of the nitty-gritty now i will say this 
I'm still not used to doing these commentaries over longer part videos. I'm not a bad commentator. It's just that most people don't tend to watch this long and I don't want to disappoint people and seem like I'm coming across boring. So that's why like my videos usually are pretty short. We're talking about minute, two minute, three minutes at most. And if you do like longer videos like this, let me know. I can't promise this will be the format always on this channel, but what I can promise is, is that when I do play a video game in a more casual way such as this, I can guarantee that I can make the videos at least 10, maybe even 15 minutes long if it means someone's watching. If the retention's decent, I'll do it. If the retention is not that great, I won't make it too long. So really, it just depends on you guys watching and supporting. So you guys support, I put it out. Just let me know. But we're getting towards the end of this part. We're getting rid of the last enemy. Finally. So he's done. So what we learned from this engagement was is that this engagement is much harder than the first one and you can actually die in this one if you don't play your cards right the enemy will tackle the weakest link so up until this point it will be your white mage on your team and then it will be mont blanc and then the archer your power hitters are going to be the soldier marchi and the banga take better advantage of that and try to get rid of their power hitters you also can check the status on each of the characters' pages in before the battle begins, and even while the battle is going, so you know what's the attack power of each enemy and their defense, so you know who you can go after, so you can strategize before we even start. But that being said, we are done the second mission. We still got 20 parts to go. So once you complete this mission, you get you get a fortune ring and 40 AP points and 4,000 gil. And that's it. I'm Kai the Player. I hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys in part three. And see you later.